Hello and um, long time no see. Um, well, I've been on maternity leave for a wee bit and um, I also realised the other day that I haven't well, updated the videos basically for the sort of tours of the farm on the YouTube channel for a year and a half and we've had quite a lot of changes basically since we moved down here. Um, so uh, here goes, let's take you off on a few little tours. Um, the first one, um, meet Matthew by the way, um, the first one um, I thought I'd give you a little tour of our polytunnel and our vegetable garden that we have developed. So the first thing you'll notice then is that this is the polytunnel that has finally been built. If you've been watching us over on the, the progress on the blog and Instagram, um, it, it's taken a long time. Um, and James has now finished the first of the raised beds that is more than the length of the polytunnel. So the polytunnel is 40 foot. Uh, so that raised bed is probably half as much again. Um, and it is about two meters wide. And he's then gonna do a second raised bed in there. He's started doing the walls for that now, along there. Uh, so this first raised bed then has our outside beans. We ran out of space inside and there's some other bits and pieces poking through now because they're getting huge there's some fennel in there there's some courgette plants not sure have we got any courgettes on them yet let's have a peek inside there's some flowers and things so i think they will soon be fruiting we have got some broccoli and some cauliflowers and we have done absolutely nothing at the moment to protect them from the cabbage white butterflies so some little holes are starting to appear and there are a couple of the broccoli over there that have been decimated so um i think we'll see how we go this year but i think next year we will definitely be uh, protecting them and then we've got a load of celeriac uh, a little further on then i think we've got some more courgettes maybe or different types of squash Anyway, um, they're not looking as healthy, so they're probably going to need the water this evening. Um, and then the rest of the raised bed then still needs a bit of digging and sorting, and that will be for lettuces and things. Lord alone knows what we're going to put in the second raised bed over the back there. So that is raised bed number one. So then down to the polytunnel. We've got a little raised lip there going up into it. So it really does need a weeding in here, so just excuse that. We just don't seem to get enough hours in the day. Uh, we've got James's chilli plants, plus goodness knows how many weeds and grass. We've got the tomatoes. We've got two humongous courgettes. Over the other side then we've got some salad crops and some gherkins and something else then that's rather large that's snuck in back there that we're not entirely sure what we've got there. We need to cut through these salad crops first that have gone to seed. So we've been cutting those down and taking them straight over to the pigs who are absolutely loving life over there. Uh, we've got spring onions, we've got more beans. We've had to extend them with some strings right the way up to the ceiling. As the things weren't long enough. We've got wasabi rocket, um, leeks, which I need to start earthing up, carrots finally coming in, more beetroot. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, there have been beetroot chocolate cakes, there's been beetroot and courgette chutney, Sorry, beetroot and horseradish chutney. There's a grapevine in the corner. Summer ball pumpkin. Peas. Excuse the squeaking. The baby's uh, squeaking away on me. Right, carrying, carrying on then. We've got spaghetti squash and sweet corn. And behind them, there's some cucumbers and some yellow chard, some kale and some cabbages and a bit of pak choy left over there. In the middle then we've also got some melons so i think we actually have got something there we've actually got a melon growing right taking a trip back out of the polytunnel then because uh, that is horsefly heaven at the moment somewhere under all this pile of nettles and weeds there are onions and garlic so my mission now next week is to find the onions and garlic Hopefully without pulling them out, but get rid of all these darn nettles. So, wish me luck on that front. 
Right, this bit down here used to be the completely impassable, excuse the noise of the gator in the background, my husband and son, Elder, are feeding the animals and they like to take the gator for that. Um, so this bit used to be totally impassable, we didn't used to be able to walk down here at all, but we've had it cleared out and we built our fruit cage. Again, another thing I need to sort is to, uh, how to deal with the grass that grows up the sides um, without mushing the netting that's going around it. I think I've solved it, I think I've got an idea of how I'm going to do it, but again, time to do. So if I take you in here, this is our fruit cage. Uh, I've started doing some weeding and things up the side. We've lost a couple of plants with this extremely hot and dry weather. Um, but, I'm sorry, if the camera starts twitching and flailing a bit, then uh, it's, we've got horse flies. I shall try and edit out anything that does. We've got dreadful horse flies here this year and uh, they are absolutely killing me. So we've got raspberries, strawberries, a dog eating grass and rhubarb and we keep losing the strawberries to what I'm starting to call the giant sparrow. We've lost one of our blueberries to dry weather but there's the other blueberry getting quite a lot of little fruits on there and there's some strawberries hiding down in there. But yes our giant sparrow there's the current bushes so, the giant sparrow is my eldest son who keeps coming in here and stealing all of uh, all of our strawberries. There's a kiwi plant in there. So lots of different fruits. We've um, still got to get our um, gooseberries um, sorted, and I still need to get in here. And as you can see, more weeding. I've started along this bed here. Um, and it's it's holding its shape pretty well um, so I just need to get the rest of the fruit cage looking like that but it's just been too hot to be out here in the middle of the day recently um, for the children mainly so uh, yeah although I have had a an umbrella set up next to William's uh, water play and his toy bucket and things so uh, so we've had a bit of shade and there's a bit more of William's toys there. That, uh, that's his car ramps. Bits of old guttering and a couple of rocks. Works amazingly well. And there's the first of our potatoes. So the flowers have gone over on these first few bags at the front and the rear ones they haven't flowered yet. So I think we can start digging up some of the front ones. These are the tractor tires I've gotten for a playpen for a playpen for um for play for the boys so I've got to fill them with earth yet and get them sorted so they can be all dug around and again more weeding that's our once was our hedge line along the back there of little box and forsythias that we bought from, from when we moved up from Newport but uh, I don't know how many of those are surviving in the back there I need to weed that and find out mm -hmm. 